Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss another method for reading the physical file data into CL program. Okay, so in our previous session also we discussed the same thing, but that was the modern approach or the new approach. And today we are going to discuss about the way through which we will read the data from physical file using go to command or go to statement. Okay, so I would recommend you to use the say uh, the uh, the way that we are using in the previous session but suppose if you are going to uh, did some analysis on the existing code where the go to statement is used in that case you should be aware of uh, this way also like how we can uh, read the data so that's why we are discussing it here okay but i would suggest you to go with that approach where we are reading the physical file data with loops okay so yeah now we can discuss on the this uh, way like this is the alternative way for doing the same thing so first of all i will show you the data that i have stored in my physical file so i am hitting the query select star from and my file name is ampf so this is the data that we are going to read inside the cl program so here we have two columns employee id and employee name and we have stored five records here so we will read that record one by one so I'm opening my program in edit mode. Okay, so here uh, the first line is uh, for PGM. So from here our program will start it. And then we are declaring the physical file. So to declare the physical file in CL program, you have to simply write DCLF, then take F4. So once you take F4, you will be reached to this screen. And here you have to specify your file name. So file name is EMPPF library name shermit one and then simply hit enter okay other option will go we will go uh, with that by default because later we will discuss about the other options also but for now we are just going to declare a simple physical file now below to that here you can observe that we are not using loop instead of that we are using the go to command and uh, we are reading the data from the file so for that you have to simply write rcvf then take f4 so once you take f4 you here you have to specify the label so here i am giving the label as read pf so label is nothing but uh, you can consider it as a name like whenever we want to send our program flow to some position or some uh, line then in that case we will refer that line with this name okay so this line will be named as read pf so this is the label of this line Below to that, we are using the mon message command to check whether this CPF0864 error occur or not. It will occur when the file goes into the end of file state. Okay. Uh, and about this error, we have already discussed in the previous session in deep, like how it occurs and how we can resolve it. Okay. So for now, we are, we are just using the mon message to handle this error. So here, to handle this error, you have to simply write mon msg, then take up 4 and here you have to pass that message id that will you will you can get from the error screen or there is other ways also that we will discuss okay now in execute command to execute we are using another command which is go to and once you write go to then take f4 and you will be reached to this screen where you have to specify the command label so the command label is n it means wherever i have i'm using the label as n it will directly take us to that portion okay so if this error occur it will go for go to command and then it will go for take the flow to the end so here is the label end okay so this and label will just a second yeah. so this uh, and once the program reaches to this end portion then it will terminate the program okay and if this error is not occurring then it will go and simply print the message using the SNDP GMMSC command so we are converting employee ID to character so that we will be able to print that on a screen and similarly we are printing the employee name on the screen once first record is read it then it will go and we will again hit the go to command for reading the next record and here in command label i am using a read pf so it will again go back to this label read pf then read the data and then if it is not end of file then it will again process the same and one by one it will read all the record once all the record is uh, read it then it will check and this condition will occur end of file so it will simply go to the end portion and it will 
terminate the process so this is how go to command we can uh, we can utilize the go to statement or go to command to read the data from the physical file okay so let's try to compile and see whether we are getting the correct output or not so yes we are getting the output put your cursor here page down so these are the record that we have stored in our physical file and we are retrieving it into the seal program so this is how it works so now we are aware of two methods first one is the modern way or the new one uh, where we are using the loop for reading the data from the physical file into CL program and another one is the this old method where we can utilize the go to statement for reading the data from the physical file okay uh, it is up to you which you want to use but I would rec uh, recommend you to go with that uh, looping statement method if you are writing a new code okay so yeah that's all for this session. In the upcoming session, we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching TechShare Mitu.